inscribed pyramid and spear. So inscribed pyramid is one that is enclosed by inside a spear. So there's a line they're drawing from the center of any polygon up to the midpoint midpoint of the sides it is called apotem it is called apotem so in this way here a pyramid is inside or enclosed in a spear so the height of the pyramid is one and of course the sides of the polygon or pyramid here so this one is so called apotheme apotheme is a line drawn from the center of the polygon this one to the midpoint of one of the sides this one's an apotheme because later on this apotheme will be used as the height in finding the area of this part of the polygon find the largest volume by regular pyramid of altitude 14 centimeter that can be cut from a spear with a diameter of 20 centimeter assume a square pyramid so you are going to solve the r so from this one this one is a regular pyramid being inscribed in a spear. So you have this one 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter, 4 centimeter in your R there, your H, you have your X there. Side. So you have to compute the area of this triangle, this one. Once you compute the area, you have times 2 there. So you are to uh, getting the total area. So first R using Pythagorean. So 10 square minus 4 square equals to R. So of this one. So your R there is equals to square root of 10 square minus 4 square. So your R equivalent to 100 minus 16 square root so your r is equivalent to square root of 84 so for the area of this one so area equals to one half bh equals to one half your base is x there your, you have your h there but your x is right here sin x sin theta x equals to r sin theta equals to r all over the opposite or the hypotenuse x all over r but your but sin theta equals to x all over r so your x equals to r sin theta and also cosine theta equals to r no h it's all over r so your h there is equals to r cosine theta so therefore area equals to one half your base is x you have that one r sine theta and you have that one r your h is r cosine theta so equals to one half r squared sine theta cosine theta for the total triangle so area of the total triangle would be equal to times two so two times one half r squared sine theta cosine theta or simply equals to r square sine theta cosine theta 
R square sin theta cosine theta. So this one is your area total. But so theta equals to 360 over 4 times 2 well into 45 degrees. So your in so your area equals to 4 times 84 times your cosine 45 and you have sine 45 your total area equivalent to 168 in C squared so your volume equals to one third BH so one third your base area 168 times your height is 14 so you have your volume to be equivalent to 784 in C pentagonal pyramid your n equals to 5 but your data equivalent to 360 over 5 times 2 so it's equivalent to 36 degrees so your total area area total at the base equivalent to your n is 5 times 84 r square is 84 times side 36 cosine 36 so if you compute this one 199.72 in c squared so your volume equivalent to one third base times height equivalent to one third your base 199 times of course your height is 14 so equivalent to 932.03 in this cube for the next hexagonal hexagonal pyramid your n is equal to 6, so your data equivalent to 360 all over 6 times 2 equivalent to 30 degrees. So your total area at the base equivalent to an n is your between 6, r squared is 84, cosine 30, sine 30. In equivalent to 218 in 24 in C square. So your volume is equivalent to base height all over 3, equivalent to 218.24 all over 3 times the height of 14. So your volume equivalent to 18.44 in this cube octagonal pyramid in equals to it so your data equivalent to 360 over 2 times number of sides it equivalent to 22.5 degrees so your total area at the base equal to the in equal to 8 your r squared is equivalent to 84 84 sine 22.5 cosine 22.5 equivalent to 237.58 in c squared
So your total volume equivalent to one third base times height. So one third your base is two hundred thirty seven point fifty eight times your height is fourteen. So your total volume of this pyramid equivalent to eleven zero eight point seventy four inches cube. So just derive the formula in r squared cosine theta and for the total total area of the base of the pyramid wherein they're equivalent to right i repeat the area of this one is being derived from the figure the total area would be equal to the number of sides of the pyramid as the base times your R, your R is solved using the diagram at the uh, using the diagram and Pythagorean theorem and your cosine theta sine theta where theta is equivalent to 360 degrees over all angles there divided by the number of sides and of course divided by 2 it is because your derivation is you have one half of the triangle being uh, being considered as the first area that is why you have times two so that's all